All right, good morning, uh, Asbury. This is uh, Pastor Jason, and I uh, just wanted to, to share with you a couple thoughts that um, kind of are stirring in my, in my spirit this morning, and uh, I just wanted to encourage you and to kind of talk about everything that's that's going on that, that we're facing. I, I really believe that, that God is up to something, and, and don't let your heart be troubled. And uh, I was reminded of uh, a few examples from Scripture uh, when God hid his people inside. And so you think about the children of Israel when God told them to put uh, blood on their doorpost so that they would be saved uh, from the coming destruction. Noah uh, hid inside the ark uh, until it was safe to come out. Rahab. Uh, when Joshua and, and, and the children of Israel circled the uh, Jericho, uh, she sent out a scarlet rope and, and hid uh, the spies inside. And so what we need to be reminded of from, from Scripture is don't be concerned that, that God has you inside, and this is part of his plan for us, for you, and, and for his church uh, in this time in, in, in history. And the book of Hebrews tells us that everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And it seems like there, there is something uh, that's occurring to where those things that people have placed their hope in may even be good things uh, that they're kind of shattering uh, before our eyes. And that can be frightening. But as a child of God, don't let your heart be troubled, right? God is doing something, and, and, and he is turning things upside down. But you, uh, the Word of God tells us that we have victory in Jesus Christ, we rest in Jesus Christ, and we rejoice in him, right? And it's a good thing that, that, that could be happening, what he's doing. You read the book of Revelation, and we see that Perfect peace is coming, and, and, and Christ is returning. And, and this seems like, and I was talking to Amanda earlier, it seemed like talking about this in, in the early 90s, the mid-90s, you kind of get rapture exhaustion, so to speak, or rapture fatigue. Um, but times like this uh, kind of wake you up to the reality that, that Christ is returning and that the word of God is true. And so we can trust in that. And, and, and you know, over the past couple weeks, um, you know, we've been doing broadcasting the services live and the presence of God has been so strong in the sanctuary there. And, and, and it's just been a blessing. I, you know, dropped my knees yesterday and, and just overwhelmed by the presence of God. And, and, and I really feel like Something is occurring that is shifting history. And, uh, and this is not to alarm you, but this is to uh, increase your trust and faith in God because his word is true. And, and I want to encourage you, uh, if you haven't lately, read the book of Revelation. I'm going to start. Um, it seems like a good time to, to do that. Uh, anytime you can read God's word is good, but we need to be reminded of where we are living uh, in relation to the revelation of Jesus Christ. And so uh, I, I want to share this verse with you, and, uh, and it's from 1 Peter chapter 1, and it's verse 6 and 7, and, and, and this is for you today. And, and it says, In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that, the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. God is testing some people right now, and you're going to be surprised when you are faithful to the very end. And so I want to encourage you to be faithful there's a purification occurring. There's a preservation occurring for God's children. And you will see your faith exponentially grow 
Do not let your heart be troubled. God is, sent, is up to something. And like he's done before in scripture, he protects his people inside. Children of Israel inside the house with the blood over the doorpost. That's us hidden inside Jesus Christ with his blood covering our sins. Noah in the ark in the inside until it was safe to come out. That's us again in Christ Jesus, the preservation of the saints uh, until it's safe to come out in the new creation. And so I want to encourage you uh, to get ready. People be ready. This is a great thing that's happening. We don't know exactly the details, but we do know who's in control, and it's our Heavenly Father. So be blessed today. Praise Jesus today. Allow your faith to be tested and be amazed how God sustains you in this, through this. And I want to leave you with this. Don't let your heart be troubled. Lift up your head and praise Jesus for a new day is dawning. Be blessed.